What's up party people? Today I'm going to show you how to use Instagram like a guru. Let's go! Okay, so here's the deal with Instagram. Instagram is the fastest growing social media platform in the whole wide world. So if we're gonna get good at, um, let's see here, how to say this exactly, how to say this precisely. If we're going to get good at connecting with the people, then we wanna use the two biggest platforms there is and that's Instagram and Facebook. Facebook's the biggest, Instagram's the fastest growing. Come on, let me show you how to use this bad boy here, come on. If you're gonna win the Instagram game, you're gonna have to be a little bit more creative than you normally would. You know what I'm saying? You picking up what I'm saying? Like, are you, I'm dropping it, are you picking it up is what I'm asking, okay? Like, all you gotta do is, is you can still be normal, but, just use a little bit of creative flair in your Instagram. Anyways, I'm just gonna show you how. I'm gonna give you an over the shoulder look. We are gonna play with my Instagram right now and I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do. Let's okay, go. So the, okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the Instagram app right here. You can see I got Instagram, Facebook. Don't even worry about this little game over here, okay? Don't even, don't even be downloading that game. It's, it's a black hole. Let's open up Instagram, boom. All right, so we got my friend Neely, she's doing a little lip bite. Okay, that's cool. So if we scroll here, this is kind of how you can scroll on Instagram. So let me just explain a couple of thoughts. We're gonna go simple to complex. So if I click the little search button here, this is where I can search for all kinds of stuff. So let's see what's happening with Tiger Woods. Now, if you see here, I can click on top. So it's gonna show me Tiger Woods' is, uh, you know, Instagram. I can click accounts that say Tiger Woods. I can click tags that say Tiger Woods. So let's click on tags. Like, so when you see people doing hashtags, this is a locator, okay? So if we click on Tiger Woods hashtag, this shows you everyone who's been posting about Tiger Woods, right? And he's not even like super, super active in golf, but the people still love him. He's the people's champ. I love Tiger Woods. All right, so we're gonna click cancel. We can click on plus, we can do camera, and we can show, you know, we can take a little video or whatever, or a picture. So that's how the camera works. If we click on these little hearts here, then this can show you people that have liked your stuff. And it's always good to just shoot them a little message, say hello, how's it going? So if we click over here, this will bring you to what your overall profile looks like, okay? And you know, a couple things you can do here. So right here where it says who you are, you know, like I prepare leaders upwards, I'm a college dropout, <laughs> um, all that kind of stuff. Then what you can do to get these little emojis here, so to edit this, all you'll do is click on edit profile. And you can see here where you can just put the text in here, you know, like so, and you can add your little emojis or whatever you wanna do, and you're solid, you're good to go. So there's that. But you know, if you're building, if you're trying to build some kind of a business online, I would have it lead to something. So mine, mine goes to a little blog post, and I've got more videos that show you how to build a blog. Even gives you like the template I use. But you have to just go search for them, or I post a link below if I can remember to. Let me just give you a couple of tips on. Now I'm not like the world's, you know, foremost authority on Instagram, okay? But right here, this is called your main feed. All right. So what goes in your main feed? This is your brand. This is what you stand for. This is what you believe in, okay? This is your overall brand though. So like I wouldn't post necessarily like a picture of my kid crying right here, right? Like not a good spot for it. This is kind of like your business card, right? When someone goes and checks you out, they're gonna go and check out, you know, all right, what's this person about? Do I like them? Are they cool? You know, so this is kind of like, you know, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but guess who does? Just about everybody. So you can at least decide, you know, what the cover is all about. But I mix it up with some serious stuff and some funny stuff. Like this is a little funny video. I'm gonna show you how to flirt with your lady <laughs> on a level that most men don't even know a game is being played. So that's like funny, and then this is like serious. I, whenever we were growing up, Okay, so you wanna be somewhat entertaining or 
if you're not, you know, naturally kind of an entertaining or funny person, just drop some real bombs. Talk about stuff that actually matters. One of the one of the things you can do is sound off on like world events and what's your opinion, right? You can see here, I'm gonna go to a different view. I'm gonna click home. Okay, so you're here. Now we're back to Neely biting her lip. You ought to follow Neely, she's cool. She's actually on Netflix. But right here, this is the fun part of Instagram. It's called your story. And you can see here where some of these guys have like a red circle. That means they have a story that you can go watch. So here's Neely biting her lip again. She's talking about this. And so you can go up here and see stories. So people that watch your stories, these are your true fans. And honestly, like when I get on Instagram these days, I hardly ever even look at the feeds. I mean, sometimes I'll scroll it and stuff like that and give people a little double tap. Hey, there you go. You know, shed, you know, spread some love here. But if I, if I really wanna see what's up, I'm gonna to go to Instagram because this is behind the scenes, okay? So so IG stories is IG stories is like the behind the scenes of your life, okay? This is what no one else gets to see. So, you know, I went hunting earlier, so here's a little video of me hunting, you know, but I normal I would have never posted that on my main feed because that's not my brand. My brand is I'm not a bow hunter. You see what I'm saying? Like I'm a business guy, I'm a family guy, you know, so your feed can kind of be about the four things, you know, the three or four things you stand for. So for me, it's like business, it's mindset shifts, it's family. I'll incorporate my little guys in these videos sometimes, maybe marriage or, you know, your spouse, stuff like that. That's the kind of stuff you'll see in my feed, okay? But your story is behind the scenes. Now, just a couple couple little tricks with your story. We're going to click on the this, this circle icon here and we're going to click plus up here. You see, you see where there's a little plus sign there? We're going to click on that and this gives you the opportunity to create a new story. Now I'm going to show you a little trick here, okay? This is just like the view that I'm looking at. If we like lift the camera up, let me show you what I'm talking about. If we lift the camera up, you know, that's, that's what we're dealing with, right? So I'm going to come back down here for you. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to snap a picture. Okay, so I have a picture there. Now what I'm going to do is come up here to this little squiggly line. This is like where you could write stuff and I'm just going to hold down. Okay, I'm going to make it like white like that. Then I'm going to come over here to like blue, we'll say. And if you hold down on it, this little color bar comes up. You see that? So I'll make it like red and then I'll, I'll hold it on the picture. And now it makes the whole thing red. So this allows you to have some custom colors and stuff like that. And then what I'll do, this is a two thumber. I'll come up here. I'll be like, yo, if you're having a great day, drop me a note. All right. So I'll click done. And then I'll come up here. You see these little smiley faces here? This little, you got like linking. You probably don't have linking until you get to 10,000 followers, but you have a little smiley face. You have little squigglies you can do like this. You know, if you want to like sign your name. So we're going to click undo though. And then you have this little image here. So this is really cool because what this allows you to do is all kinds of stuff. So if I'm eating at a cool restaurant, I'll tag that restaurant with location. And now what's cool is anyone else who's doing this, if they ate at the same restaurant, then they'll tell their, you know, they'll be like, oh, who else ate here today? And then maybe you have form a connection. Um, you can add music. So let's see if we get some, uh, get some Drake up in here. Okay, I don't want to get copyright, so I don't want to use that a whole lot there. But you can add a song. You can even scroll here and choose the part in the song that you want to use. So that's pretty cool. I don't want to get copyrighted, so I'm not going to keep showing you that. But if you want to add music, there it is. Just play around with it. If you want to do like countdown until we get married, you know, whatever, you add that there. Countdown until a new product drops, add that there. You can do questions. So I'll say drop, drop it here. 
And what this does, is it just gets dialogue going, right? It depends on why you're using Instagram. I, I'm kind of showing people how to use it if they're trying to build a business here. But you can add that here and now it'll be perfectly organized. You'll be able to go back and say hello to people, but if you get engagement on your story, you'll get more people watching your story, right? So it's kind of cool. And then uh, you can take a poll, you know, you can ask questions here. Again, you're just trying to get a little bit of engagement on your posts. So do you like Wes? So do you like Wes? Uh, yeah. Now, if I want to make it to where you can't say no, I'll say yes, or I'll say a lot. And either way, you like Wes, right? So those are some things you can do just to make it, make it fun. You can come up here, you can do quizzes, you can do all kinds of stuff. So what I'd say is just like click around on some buttons and test some stuff out. You want to show people what the degrees are outside. Oh my God, it's so cold. Not really. And then you can also do like laughing illustrations. So you can do like, you know, laughing. And then, you know, you put this little girl here. See what I'm saying? You can just add some little flair to your stories. If it's like a funny joke or whatever. So I like that. The other thing you can do is like, you can tag people. So let's say that I just want to make a quote or tag someone like someone says something powerful, you know, quote. All right. And I want to tag the person who said it. I can just go at, and let's say I'll choose my wife here. Click next. You know, I can tag her in it and give them a shout out. I'm always trying to like give people shout, shout outs and stuff like that. Now the cool thing is once you get over 10,000 followers, then when you do a story, you can literally, I'm gonna come up here and click new. You can do like, you know, check out this YouTube tutorial. I can click next and I can click this little link here this little link button and I can link directly to a website URL and I can tell someone to swipe up to go watch it, which is probably what I did with this video too. So that's kind of cool. And then also something that's kind of new is this little thing right here. You see that little TV with the little lightning bolt in it? That's Instagram TV, IGTV. So you can click on that and I've been uploading a couple IGTVs lately. And what's neat about these is once you upload a new Instagram or IGTV here, then on your actual profile, you can post a preview like this. So it'll say, watch the full video on IGTV. And so then if I click on here, it'll actually take me to that video where you can basically have people watch stuff longer. So if you want to upload longer videos, then you can upload them to IGTV and then you can post a preview on your IG feed. And I'm starting to do a lot of stuff with video. I feel like video is the future. I like watching videos. So, and also like making videos as you can tell. That's why I am doing a lot of stuff in video form. So eventually my, just about my whole entire Instagram will be videos that link to IGTV. You know, these are cool. You can kind of make this feed however you want to do it. I would just, I would just encourage you like be different. You know, a lot of people do like picture here, quote here, video here. And it's like, yeah, that's what everyone's doing. So I'd encourage you to like be a little bit different if you can show, show the world something they've never seen. All right. Now, one last little thing I want to show you that's really cool. If you come up here to your story. Hey, what is up? Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to, if you can, if you, if you ever want to like freeze a story, you can just like hold your thumb on it and it'll stop it. So I'm gonna turn down the volume so you guys don't have to hear the whole story here. This little story is about a e-commerce opportunity that, that me and some of my friends are doing that's working out really well. But I don't want this to just be on the story for 24 hours because when you post an IG story, it's only there for 24 hours, okay? I don't want it to just be 24 hours. I wanna turn it into a highlight. So what I'm gonna do is click this little highlight button and I'm gonna click on new new highlight and we're going to title it Skrilla. Okay. I'm going to click add. And now that IG story just got added to right here underneath my highlight. So if I want to give people a highlight to my IGTV, there's all my IGTVs organized. So for Skrilla though, what I'm going to do is coming back up here to my story. I already added this one. So now I'm going to add this one and now you just click on it. Boom. So it got added. I'm going to click on this one. It just got added. I'm going to click on this one. It just got added. Let me just take you one more here. 
okay? And so now when people discover me in the future, if they're like, hey, I wanna make money online, well then they can click on Skrilla and learn about this little e-commerce opportunity. Does that make sense? You can kind of, like if you do a certain thing, you can tell people about it on your IG story, and then you can make it a highlight to where, you know, as people discover you more and more in the future, then they can just come and check out your highlight and get to know a little bit about what you do, okay? So it's a really cool feature, I'm almost done. Let me see if I can just do it real quick. So now, if we come over here to this little highlight area and I click on Skrilla, you can see where the whole story is there. Isn't that cool? And that'll, that'll stay like that forever. So, you know, forever, people will be able to go and check out this little story that tells them what you do. And you can see where I added that little message me box. And you can see that, that little arrow that I used here came from um, going up and getting, you know, I typed an arrow underneath that little smiley face button that I showed you earlier. And that's, and that's what this, you know, that, that little arrow populated. And so that's how I was able to use it on the IG stories. So there's all kinds of little cool things you can do. My best advice for Instagram is be yourself, have fun. Don't be afraid to be entertaining, right? Like the world's not gonna be mad. If you crack a joke here and there, you have a little bit of fun, you let your proverbial hair down, right? Be as human as possible. I see a lot of people that they get on Instagram, they try to be Mr. or Mrs. Perfect. And you know what? It don't exist, baby, it don't exist. And remember this, like you gotta start somewhere, right? Like I started with, you know, three Instagram followers, then I had 30, then I had 33, then I had 200, and you know, it just went on and on and on. There's some things you can do to grow it a little bit more rapidly to get over 10,000, but I think you'll find if you make content that people care about and that adds value to them, they'll tag their friends, now their friends discover you, now their friends start following you. And, you know, when you shout someone out in your Instagram story, like I showed you, then they'll typically repost that and then their audience sees you, right? So you ought to catch people doing awesome things or saying awesome things, then shout them out in your Instagram story and that way they repost it and their audience can discover you as well if they want to, right? I don't do that for that reason, but that's one of the benefits that come with it sometimes. The other thing you can do to grow your Instagram is make sure that you comment and engage on other people's stuff. Whatever you want, you gotta give, right? So make sure you're engaging and commenting on other people's stuff. If you see someone that's cool, send them a friend request. Maybe they'll follow you back, right? There's all kinds of ways that you can grow your Instagram. What's so cool about Instagram is usually like if you'll follow someone and they come and check out your Instagram feed, which is where we were talking about earlier, that's your brand. They're like, oh, this is a cool person then they start to follow you, but that's someone that you chose, right? So you're, you're kind of creating your own circle. The thing that you wanna make sure you're using are those hashtags that we talked about. So like whenever I made a new post on my feed today, I went over here, like here's the new post I made. I went over here, I clicked on this little circle, this little like circle idea thing. And, and then what I did is you'll you can see here as I added a bunch of these hashtags. So find some hashtags that are relevant for you. And I just save them on the notes on my phone. And that way I can add them as the first comment every time I upload something new that would be relevant to that audience. And new and new people are discovering me all the time. New and new people can discover you all the time. So that's a little bit on hashtags. All right, so if you have any questions, just comment below. I'll do my absolute best to answer them. And otherwise, have a great day, you awesome person.